रीडिंग लॉक्स इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ ट्रबल शूटिंग इट हेल्प यू फाइंड द रूट कॉज एंड फिक्स इशू इफेक्टिवली बट द टूल्स यू यूज टू रीड द लॉक्स एंड इटीएल फाइल मैटर्स अ लॉट इन दिस वीडियो I will show you a few powerful tools that makes reading log easier, faster, and more effective, especially when working with diagnostic logs for troubleshooting. So right now I am on my client machine and think about a scenario where you want to do some troubleshooting by reading the logs or ETL file. So let's take an example that I am on the Intune portal and if I want to Collect the diagnostic logs for troubleshooting purpose. We have to go to the windows. And let's think about the scenario whether we want to collect a log for this machine. So we already know that we can remotely collect the logs using the collect diagnostic feature present in the Intune. We can initiate the log and we can collect the logs. Now I already initiated and collected the log in advance. So if you go to the device diagnostics. We can see that just now I initiated this log collection, but I already initiated a log collection in the past. So what I can do, I can click on download and download the logs. But I'm not going to download it because I have already downloaded it for the demo purpose. So let me cancel this. And let me go to the download folder. And here, this is my log. Let me unzip this lock, extract all. Now we have extracted the diagnostic lock in this folder. And if we open this folder, now we can see that there are a lot of locks present in this. Some of them are ETL files, some of them are locks, and some of them are HTML reports, some of them are registry values. So now think about a scenario where you want to read the logs file like i want to read the intune management extension logs so here you can see that all these files are in text format and let me show you if i want to read the logs for app workload what i can do i can open it and i can read the log now reading log files in a text format is a very difficult task so to do this, overcome this, what we can do, one of the common log reader we are using called CMTrace, which is by default a tool present in the SECM. And, and if you are not using that tool, I highly recommend to use this tool to read the logs. And I will provide the GitHub location to download this logs. So let me download this log the reader tool. And then we have to just open this file. And then from here, you can open the file and read the logs. So let me go to the diagnostic logs. And within diagnostic logs, let me go to the into the management extension log and then app workload.log. Now you can see that now. So reading logs in CM tree is very easy because it is giving you detailed information in such a format that you can read the logs in a better way. Whenever there is a warning, you will see a yellow line color. Whenever there is a error, you will see some red lines like this is a red line. So what is the best part in CM trace? In the tool section, you have an error lookup. Here you can find the error code details like I want to find what is the meaning of error code 0. Here we can see that operation completed successfully. If I want to find 3010 and run, we can see that request operation is successfully. Change will not be effective until the system is distributed. So this way we can find any error and we can see what is the meaning of particular error. And one of the important uh, feature of this tool is you can also merge the selected uh, logs. Like I want to merge the entire logs. I can 
merge it like this and open this now it will merge all the logs here you can see that in the top you can see that health script intune management extension log sensor log pin level 24 h2 log and there are so many logs so what you are doing it is merging the logs based on the time events but let's say if you want to read the etl file go back to the folder let's say i want to read the windows logs like i want to read this etl file you can't read the etl file with cm trace logs so now for that purpose we want to use some other logs and i will show you what tool is the best tool for me which i am using to troubleshoot the things so let me close this cm trace but cm trace is one of the best tool to troubleshoot the basic and then second tool which i am going to show you is the support center installer.msi basically this support center installer application is a part of scm setup file where we can download and install some of the inbuilt tools let me download this and i will provide the link in the description so that you can also download it so let me download this msi file and let me open this and right click and you need to install this click on install and click on yes and install this application now we have successfully installed the configuration manager support center tool now what we have to do we have to go to the start and then search for support right in support center we have a tool called support center one trace let me open this tool in one trace we can open the log let me open a log same log which is present in the download folder and a workload dot log we can see that one trace is also one of the great log to read the logs we can see that the component name thread id time entries we can also see that some of the things are showing in yellow meaning the warning some of the things are showing in red meaning the error you can directly click on this and you can go to the error and read the error and if you find that the uh, details of this error code you have an option here you can click on this error details and type 1008 and attempt was made to refresh a token that does not exist so this way you can read the error also and convert the error details okay you can also change the light mode and dark mode you can also enable or disable the live updating there are a lot of features available here you can read the logs by using these multiple features in a better way okay and if you want to read the etl file let's say you have an etl file in this same folder windows update like etl file related to windows update and if you want to open this etl file click on this etl file now you can see that the etl file is also open in same fashion where you have the component name you have the thread id time entry as well as if there is an error you have the red line so this way you can read the logs etl files using the one trace there are a lot of options available i would like you to please explore this tool and use as much as possible to troubleshoot and read the logs and the etl file and the last tool which i am going to show you in this video is also a part of system center configuration manager and the tool name is support center log file viewer and if you open this tool this is much better tool and you can open the etl files you can open the log file you can open the text file using this tool let me again go to the download folder open the same file and let me go to the first open the etl file and click on this and open it 
now we can see that this tool is giving detailed information and the detail about each and every item or line line by line it is showing everything here in the location so this is also providing a light updating auto scroll show details wrap lock text error code links also error lookup let's say if you want to find the error error code for zero meaning you can search it and here it is the meaning of zero meaning that operation completed successfully this way you can read the logs ETL file and if you want to read the log file you can open the logs in the same tool let me go back and open Intune management extension log and you can see that it is again showing the same information in the same format so log viewer tool is very easy tool for reading the log file and etl file and also help to understand the meaning of error code it can also decode the certificate also we can do a lot of things with this tool so i highly recommend and suggest you to explore these tools use these tools in your data to troubleshooting and get maximum out of it so that's all for this video i will see you soon in the next video